Good morning. This is Diana with DiscoverDownEast.com. Here to talk to you today about the smell of the ocean. It's a smell that many of us associate with very fond memories. And depending on the day, you can sometimes smell it from much farther away than you think you should. Um, now this smell is actually a cocktail of different gases. And one of the most predominant of those gases is one called dimethyl sulfoxide. This chemical uh, is found inside of zooplankton. Um, commonly we associate algae with being a type of zooplankton. Uh, it is also found in seaweed. Now when seaweed or when algae gets damaged in some fashion and bacteria comes in and starts to digest it and break it down, this dimethyl sulfoxide is released into the air. And this is the predominant sulfur smell that we associate with the ocean smell, if you will. Um, now, believe it or not, this chemical, once it's released into the atmosphere, actually does affect our cloud system and potentially the ozone layer. More research is being done on that now. Um, there's a potential that all of the commercial seaweed harvesting that's happening could actually be affecting the atmosphere and the ozone layer. We'll find out more on that later. Um, but what I can tell you for sure is that when you're near the ocean, the salt in the air, uh, it's going to help you if you have asthma, if you have bronchitis, it's going to help if you're coughing. And also, if you're close enough to the ocean where there's sea mist that's spraying, you're going to be exposed to negatively charged ions, which will actually make oxygen easier for your blood to absorb and it will help balance out your serotonin levels, which means that being near the ocean makes you happier and more energized. So take a deep breath and come to the ocean. Have a great day. Uh, like us, <laughs> subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.